Hey guys, what is going on? It's Don here from Nova Spirit Tech and welcome back to the channel. And today it's gonna to be part two of our Arch Linux install. So let's get started. So if you haven't watched our last video where we just installed this onto our brand new system, which I am using the Odyssey X86 over here, uh, you can go check that video out. I'll leave a link right over here on the top left. Now in this video, we're actually gonna continue off that and continue making our user creation and adding some applications that require to kind of make this system more usable. So let's begin. So jumping into the system after I logged in, uh, the first thing I'm gonna do is actually pop it over into terminal because we are gonna install some programs. So the first thing we wanna do is pacman-syy. We wanna install sudo, so our users have super user access, as well as git and base-develop. I'm just gonna hit enter on that, and I hit yes to install the rest. Now base develop will actually give you all the properties that you could use to install AUR packages, which is community supported packages or created packages. And those are packages that you won't actually find in Pac-Man or some packages you won't find in Pac-Man or sometimes even more updated versions of certain things. All right, once we're done with this, uh, I'm gonna pop over into uh, the settings and create our new user. So let's pop over to there, settings, uh, I'm going to pop over to, where is it, users, and there's no other users, so I'm just going to add a brand new one, and I'm going to use this as administrator, my name, my name, and then I'm going to set the password now. I'm just using a simple password, this way I can get, get this through. Once this is done, uh, we have created our brand new user, and we will have to add them to the sudo group, so I would do user mod dash a capital G wheel Don. Now I just basically added the wheel group to Don. So basically in the wheel group, I am allowed to use sudo access. So after you added the user to the wheel group, we will have to do nano or VI because you guys were complaining that I use nanos, but you could use VI. Do I even have VI? No, I don't have VI. So too bad. Nano ETC and then go to the sudoer file page down till you find the group. So you see how it says wheel all all, uncomment that and save it. Once you're done, we could exit this and log into our new user that we created. So I'm gonna log out and now you should actually see Don. Let's see, there you go. I'm gonna log into this with the password that we created before and there we have it. So now, just to test it out, I'm actually gonna open up uh, Terminal. And in here, I'm just gonna do sudo pacman-y, capital S-Y-Y, just update it. Type in the password, and if it works, that means you got sudo access. And there we have it. We actually have sudo access into our user account, and now we can install any programs that we want through Pacman, and do sudo user access stuff through our regular user account. Now. The next thing I would install is something called Yay. There's actually something called Yogurt, but I'm gonna install Yay instead because Yay is just easier to type. And that allows us to install packages from the AUR. Now, to do this, uh, head over to the web browser and actually go over to Arch AUR Yay. Pop over here, and you see how there's a git? All I have to do is copy this, copy link address, all right? And I'm gonna pop over here and swoop, go over to my download so I don't have to fill up my main directory. Git clone, control shift paste. Oh, I typed it in twice. Git clone, there you go. And I'm gonna change directory to yay. And I'm gonna do make pkg-si, which is synchronize uh, dependencies and install. Give that a few seconds. It's gonna grab everything that you need to install and that's it. Let this install and then you're gonna have access to Yay, which allows you to install or without having to use make package every time. Now make packages comes from base develop. Remember we installed that earlier. That's how I'm able to actually create uh, these projects from the AUR. All right, now we can proceed to install and that's it. Now we should have Yay. And as soon as I type that in, it's gonna want me to install stuff which is fine. 
Once we're done with everything, the initial startup, uh, updating the system, we can now use yay. So I'm going to do yay dash help. And in here, it's going to show you what you can do with yay. All right. Mainly what you need to know from here is dash S, which is to install and dash R, which is to remove. Now I could do, here's an example. So if I go into pacman dash S and I want to install uh, this browser, this terminal based browser called browse. It's not available because, oh, you know what? Sudo bang bang. It cannot find target and browse. But if I was to actually search for this in the AUR package, so if I go over to home and I could search for browse, it is actually available for um, an AUR. So in order, like I said, yay is to install packages from AUR and I could just do that and type that in instead and this will install this browser for me. So it even searches for the two bins, which is right here, you can see. And that's how I'm able to get all the software that I need. And then you just go through all the default selections and it'll install everything that you need. And keep in mind, there are way more packages than there are in AUR than it is in Pac-Man. So um, I would definitely check both places if you're looking for a specific software. All right, now that it's done, we could just test it out. Browse. It's a really neat browser. I'm still learning how to use it. But what it does is basically loads Firefox in the background and manipulates it so you can see it in AUR text or ASCII text. And I think it's Control G, no Control I. Okay, it's Control L to go to the web browser. And if I want to go to YouTube.com. You see, it's actually going to bring me to youtube.com through Firefox. And like I said, it's not the prettiest, but you could see kind of how cool this browser is that works in terminal base. Anyway, that's it for now. I'm going to show more detail into the installing process as far as Grub, Python, um, getting your audios, uh, in graphic drivers, and all that stuff on the next video. That's actually going to be right after this because this is just a basic user creation and some software that you might need that you need to get everything going but again on the next video we're going to do all the drivers um, set up everything that will get the computer operating and it's going to take me a little bit longer because i would have to outfit this guy with either amd or nvidia just to get this process going on the next move so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys did please hit that like button if you guys got any questions about this hit it down in the comments below or hit me up in my discord if you guys are new to this channel consider subscribing also hitting that bell notification icon so you know when the next video is going to be out and as i say my nerd cave hack till it hurts